Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Wednesday, heading into the holiday. Of course, weather savants video, what we are going to talk about today. We're not going to talk long range today just because we got stuff going on over the next few days. So we're going to talk about what is going to happen the next few days across really the entire Central Plains. And then, of course, uh, um, I'm, I've been trying to answer a question each day. So we're going to do one of those as well. Of course, want to give a huge shout out to my guys at Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premium roofing contractor. They're family-owned. They're local, 7th and High Street in Joplin. Superior service and quality. Give them a call. They did my roof. The number is right there on the screen. All right. Let's see what's going on. It's cloudy. I'm looking outside. Uh, let's go ahead and let's look at the radar here. I'm going to do some zooming in, kind of we're going to drive around here. You can see showers already starting to pop up. So let's go into the four state area and you can see showers getting going. Uh, these are very light, but picking up southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, extreme southwest Missouri, down through northwestern Arkansas, east central Oklahoma, a little bit more uh, heavy, I guess, Texarkana, just to the west of Little Rock and then stretching back toward Dallas. These are going to continue to increase in coverage and intensify as we go through the evening hours. Look at this storm system. Look at the spin down through parts of New Mexico. That is our upper level low. It is a cutoff low, meaning the jet stream's way up here, up into the northern parts of the plain. So when you get a cutoff low, it kind of stretches away from the jet stream and storm systems, they like to hang out where the jet stream is. And because it's cut off, doesn't mean it really loses much of its strength. It just means it has nothing to shove it along. So it takes its time pushing through. So you can see here's Thursday evening. And then as we go into Friday, slowly kind of works through Western Texas into Saturday, finally works into our area. And then uh, late Saturday into Sunday, it passes by. Look at the track. I'm going to stop it right here. See the spin kind of central Oklahoma. So the question I'm going to answer for today in the heady pattern, will this return for this winter? Uh, yes. And this is what's kind of interesting about, I'm, I'm going to do the winter forecast on KOAM on December 1st. I've been putting it together, but there is uh, definitely in this year's pattern, we have several upper level lows that track across Oklahoma and Arkansas. Now, if you don't have any cold air like we do this time you get rain but uh we are going to get some cold air in some of these and those are pretty good snow makers so yes the answer to that question is this will return at least two times during the winter and we have several other systems that are similar to that all right let's go through the afternoon hours look at the rain which is going to start to increase Oklahoma, Arkansas, and then through the four-state area. Temperatures sitting into the 50s. If you're in Kansas City, St. Louis, Salina, you will stay dry, but you may get a few showers late tonight. Here's about uh, midnight. Light showers across most of Missouri, southeast Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, and then they really start getting going across northwest Arkansas, northeast Oklahoma late tonight. So we're looking at early Thanksgiving morning. This is if uh, you are the cook of the family. You are manning that turkey, manning that ham or brisket at this time in the morning. So showers, even some thunderstorms. Northeastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas. Showers continue through the morning hours, but the heaviest rain really from Fort Smith, Bentonville to Branson to West Plains to southeast Missouri. Not much going on during the afternoon north of I-44. And then I think on Thanksgiving afternoon, most of the four state areas, just cloudy. Maybe a random shower, but just cloudy. Look at this. You have sunshine up toward Kansas City, Topeka, Lawrence, Salina, Wichita, partly sunny skies. It's mainly along and south of that I-44 corridor. And then as we head into Thursday night, the rain suppresses down to the south. Now, remember, that upper level O takes its time working through. Well, here it comes. Now it's surging back north. So let's go in. So on Friday, really, I think uh, most of us are just going to be mostly cloudy, maybe a random shower. But Friday in general looks pretty good. Watch Friday night into Saturday morning. Here comes the rain surging northward, all of Oklahoma, most of Arkansas. Here's 9 a.m. 
on Saturday. The rain continues to surge north all the way up to Kansas City by Saturday afternoon. It looks like Wichita, you'll be right on the northwestern edge. Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Fort Smith, Little Rock, West Plains, Springfield, Joplin, all getting rain Saturday afternoon and persistent rain. As we continue into Saturday evening and Saturday night, the heaviest rain lifts north central parts of Missouri. It starts to taper in Oklahoma and also in Arkansas. You can see the dry slot starting to push in. And then as we get into Saturday night and Sunday morning, most of the rain is working out of the four state area. Still some showers in central and eastern Missouri, and then it's all gone by Sunday afternoon. But rainfall amounts, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of areas along and south of the I-44 corridor are going to pick up one to two inches. And then the farther northwest you live, the amounts will start to go down just a bit. All right, of course, I'm going to have the latest on all this on KOM News 5, 6, 9, and 10. You can catch us on our Skywatch Weather app and the KOM Plus app on Roku. You can also catch me right here on Weather Savants on my YouTube page. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. I hope you have a great Wednesday afternoon.